Oh, hello everybody. So we're going to start a series called SAP Business One Life Hacks. And first of the series we're going to do today is on how to remove uh, functionality from Business One that you might not be using. Look for more of these life hacks. They will sometimes be based on standard Business One capabilities and they may also be based heavily upon the usability package, the Boeing usability package, but for today we're going to do a hack, a life hack, that involves just standard capabilities, core capabilities of Business One. Okay, so if I were to open up the menus on the side here, and I'm going to grab a setup module, so in system initialization general settings, and I'm going to go to the last tab here called Hide Functions. Okay. So if we were interested in hiding the functions or the subset of these functions across the different modules and objects, um, we could use this here. So this, these functions uh, aren't uh, turning them on and turning them off aren't really as simple as just hiding one module or one menu item. Um, the capabilities here tend to reach into many different data objects and many different parts of the system. So um, SAP's put some sort of quick on and off or some easy on and off button for these capabilities if you don't use them. So why would you do this? Well, I mean, you would probably do this because um, you wanted to hide some of these functions, sort of clean them up so that they're not there, the system's more efficient to use, or users aren't being confused by what those fields are for and, you know, filling in data that might be erroneous or, um, you know, doing the wrong thing. So um, let's say, for instance, you didn't use units of measure. So let, let's quickly take a look at the item master record and the barcode. And you can see on the item master record there is a field for unit of measure group as well. If you look at the barcode screen, there's uh, the barcode by item number and uh, we can cycle through these um, barcodes for things that are indicated as having barcodes and you can see that um, the barcodes are also by unit of measure group. Okay, and then lastly maybe we'll just take a quick look at the setup menu for Business One. So if we go into Administration, Setup, Inventory Control, you can see that there are menu items for setting up units of measure and units of measure groups. Okay, so if we back up from these objects here and we say let's hide that unit of measure functionality and we're going to click Update on that. So the change is made on the fly. And I think, I mean, I'm the only one logged into the system now. This might be one of those things where you do need to have others logged into the system, especially if they have those objects open, but I'm not 100% certain about that. But let's go back to the item master data. You can see now that there is no unit of measure group field on the item master data. You can still do other things, like you can still define the dimensions of an item, um, say the purchasing dimensions, sales dimensions, inventory dimensions. Um, but um, the unit of measure group field is gone. The other thing is if we take a look at barcodes, instead of barcodes being as per unit of measure group, they're just straight up barcodes now. The unit of measure functionality is gone. And if we look in the setup menu, so we go to administration setup, inventory, and we take a look for the unit of measure setup and the unit of measure group setup, they're no longer there. So that hide functions uh, button will essentially remove that those capabilities from everywhere in the system where where they exist. Cleans it up, I guess makes it less likely that users are gonna put in erroneous error or use erroneous functions. Now what if you try to cancel something that is already in use? Because um, uh, you could be using these things and uh, you know, you could somebody could go in and say, well, I want to hide serial numbers and batches. So if I select that and I hit update, you see in the bottom left-hand corner I get an error. You cannot disable serial batch management um, because that's already in use on some items. So um, you can only disable these functions if the functions aren't already in use. If they are, you get an error. And I would presume you'd have to back off their use in, in uh, 
to be able to remove them from uh, from business one so that's a quick explanation of the hide functions button a nice life hack in uh, SCP business one and uh, subscribe to the channel for more business one life hacks thank you